Hi, so we're going to try to do this as an orthographic projection. This is our part number eight. We're going to make an assumption that this is a completed part. So make believe this is filled in so it's a whole donut, not something we've taken a bite out of. We have to determine which has the most detail. So as we look at this, our donut would either look like this or this, or we'd see a circle. And I like to put the circle in my front view. So we're going to start with that. So there's a hole here. So I'm going to draw the hole first. And remember, we're assuming this is a completed, completed donut. So we're going to do a hole here. And again, very light. We're going to start out light. That's our hole. And then uh, we've done this edge. So now we're going to worry about this edge right here, which is part of this angle. So that's a concentric circle. And if you forgot what a concentric circle is, it's a circle that shares a common center point with another circle, kind of like a bullseye on a target. So there's my second circle. So I've got now the hole, which was this in the outside edge, which is here. Then, if we look at this, there's only one more circle to go, and that's the very outer edge. So again, that's concentric. So notice we're kind of sketching in, using your whole arm, work your way around. This is really hard to do to get circles that are concentric and look good. So I'm going to kind of work my way around here. That's, that's a rough sketch. So there we go. So now we've got, we can darken this in a little bit if we want. There's our hole. There's the outer edge before the angle. And then here's the whole outer side of our donut. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect, it's a sketch. But we're making an orthographic. Remember, because there's a hole there, it gets a center line. So now, just like all our other orthographics, we still have a hinge point, our hinge point's at the top. So if I rotate this, I end up with this. So notice what this does. It tapers where my thumbs are, and it's square where my index fingers are. So we need to get that. To do that, we can still project. We're going to come tangent off this. Remember, that's just kissing the circle. Come off this side tangent. We need to get our thickness. So I'm going to do the back first and then the front. Now, I know you're saying, well, wait a minute. You've made a whole box, and it's not a whole box. Remember, we always start with a total depth, total width box, and we work inside our box. So now, I know that this edge is a rectangle. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle that goes all the way across here because it does. I'm going to darken that in because I know it belongs. And then to get where the edge of the angle is, I project this up until I get this point, and I just play connect the dots. I do the same thing here, bring this up. Step an edge, connect the dots. So now you can see that I've really started to make the overall outline of this part. This goes all the way across, because it does. If we look at it this way, it would be a flat surface. So right here's a flat surface. It would go all the way across. Here's a flat surface. So the question is, are we done? And no, we're not. We have a hole here. And remember from a previous video in number four, that if a hole's a circle here, it's going to be a, that's right, a rectangle here. So I'm going to project this up. And because it passes through a line of its own view, it's usually hidden. So I'm going to make a hidden line here. And remember, those are just eighth inch dashes. Same thing here. Project this up. Give me another hidden line there, eighth inch dashes. And then the last thing we need for this is a center line that runs through the middle. So now I have the front view and the top view. The question is, do I need a right side view? Well, would my right side view look like this? Yeah, it would. It looks just like the top view. So remember, we only need to include enough views to adequately describe the geometry of the part, which we've done. And that is a sketch of orthographic number eight. As always, please contact me with questions.